I'm Samantha. I'm the director of the Cattery. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm the social media manager and we work at the Cattery. Yep. So let's talk about different ways that people uh, go out of their way to accommodate for their cats. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a lot of silly ways I think that people will just change either either what, like their living situation or the way they are just for their cat. Actually, we were just talking about it. <laughs> it was really funny. One example I have is that when Scott, my husband, comes to bed, if there are cats, he will Tetris himself like <laughs> a contortionist. <laughs> Instead of moving the cat. Instead of moving the cat. So, like, part of him sometimes <laughs> is even hanging off the bed. Oh, my God. I, ironically, I am not that way. You're like, not? I am not. <laughs> You're like, move cats. <laughs> like, you can get back in as soon as I'm comfy. Right. They will. They back. will. Like, I have, like, my cat Lincoln sleeps in my armpit, and if he's on the bed, I just move him and he comes right back in and gets in the armpit. That's so cute. You have him trained, whereas they have Scott trained. <laughs> yes, they have Scott trained for sure. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, that's a um, that's actually really, it's kind of like a common meme online. Like, oh, I can't move. I'm going to die here because my cat's on my lap. But that's like a real thing. Like, I will not get up. I'm like, I got to stay here. <laughs> I, I will get up. You will. But I will also use it as an excuse. Right, exactly. It's like you can go either way. We call it at uh, at our house, we call it COL. COL. Cat on lap. <laughs> and it gets us out of doing anything. I so. have COL. Like Scott will bring me a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't do the dishes on COL. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal that. <laughs> I'm going to steal that. And if you add more cats... The chances of col are much greater yeah yep, <laughs> yeah for sure that's awesome. usually multiple <laughs> right oh <laughs> multiple col situation i usually have two to three cats in my lap that's awesome when watching tv that's so cute i love cats they're so cuddly <laughs> so uh, speaking of accommodations yeah um we scott's cat is named heather <laughs> and she does not get along with my cat lucy so now heather has her own room <laughs> and scott will sleep in there with her every Aww. every other night that is really cute. and she comes out like we rotate the cat so she's out part of the day mm -hmm. um, they're out part of the day and he will sleep with her every other night Oh, <laughs> she has her own bedroom. She has her own stinking bedroom. Heather's she room. has more cat trees in her bedroom <laughs> than my other cats have in the entire house. Uh, she sounds like the favorite. Very spoiled. Mm -hmm. She has her own <laughs> dedicated time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is so cute, though. It's like a, she's definitely, I feel like whenever you mention Heather, that she's Scott's daughter. <laughs> she is. Yeah. That's like, if we mm -hmm. had kids, Heather was going to be the name of our daughter. Really? Because Aww. we really like Scotland mm -hmm. and we're both uh, descendants of Scottish people, mm -hmm. even though I kind of had to find mine by marriage, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that works. <laughs> And that's like the Heather. That's that's what we were gonna name our daughter. So she is quite is literally daughter. Scott's daughter. That is so cute. And Scott is out of town. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what does that look like whenever he leaves? Um, cause she's a she's like a daddy's girl. She is. Mm -hmm. She likes me when he's not around though. Oh, like that works. <laughs> if he's around, I barely get like ten percent attention. <laughs> she's like, eh. <laughs> you're not scott yeah but when i when he's not around and not, she still gives me it she gives me attention yeah so it's fine this morning i went in before i came to work to check on her make sure she had food and water for the day hadn't knocked anything over litter boxes clean she also has three litter boxes in her room oh my god this is the princess that she is she has a litter box a tidy cat breeze with pellets she has a regular litter box with clay litter, oh and God. she has a litter box with a pee pee pad. Oh my God! Options. She has options That's because so she likes to pee on clothes, but not all the time. Oh my God! Yeah. So you're like just whatever you want to pee in that's appropriate. Try anything. Yes. Yeah, so we give her <laughs> three <about> choices. <laughs> so I go in to check on her, and my other cats aren't. Um, 
Like they don't know what's going on. They don't yeah. understand why dad's not there. Yep. So three of them run into the bedroom with me. They never even go down that hallway, but three of them ran in there Follow with me. Follow mom though. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> so Heather starts freaking out. Uh, my cat mouse is special. <laughs> and she doesn't understand why this cat is yelling at her. Mm-hmm. She's like, I just want a bite of food. <laughs> <laughs> oh so I finally get them out. She ha- likes one of these cats she tolerates. But I didn't want to leave anyone in there with her because I'm not there during the day. So I got them all out. And then one of them ran back in. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> cat rodeo (laughs) so i had to leave so i mean these two cats typically get along okay so so they're in there together they're in there together i left them in there all right scott (laughs) i will not they're they're gonna figure it out today they're gonna be yeah my -hmm. goal was to integrate everyone while scott is gone because if she even makes a an anxious meow around one of the other cats he freaks out and (laughs) Because that's his baby. <laughs> yep, daddy's girl thing again. Yep. <laughs> Gotta protect Heather. <laughs> so, yes, I have to share my husband with a cat. Mm-hmm. That, that's a big accommodation. Yeah. Yep. That's a really <laughs> big one. The, going to sleep with her every other night is just, that's just, like, it's adorable. But that's, a, that's an accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> he changes an entire bed, bedroom every yep. other night. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what accommodations I make. Uh, my cat Lucy, the one that Heather doesn't get along with, yeah, gets special food. Does she? Yeah, so I have to put all the other cats in the bedroom oh, and <laughs> give her her special food because she's fifteen. Oh, well, so she yeah. gets. I mean, it's not necessary. She's fine. Uh-huh. But she's fifteen, <laughs> so she gets. But she's food. the baby. <laughs> Is she the oldest? Yeah. Yeah. That's why she's the baby, <laughs> <laughs> the oldest baby. I th- honestly, I think Scout in my house—that's the only girl cat I have. She gets preferential treatment over the boys because, first of all, she is very picky about everything. She she's very territorial, <laughs> and she likes mom the best. So she does. She gets preferential treatment. Um, she always gets fed separately. She has her own like special food bowl and it's separate from the other cats and the other cats aren't allowed to eat out of it or else she won't eat out of it anymore. Like she's very picky. Yeah. She used to pee on your couch. Yeah. She, <laughs> yeah. She still does every now and then, honestly. But you gave her her own litter box. <laughs> yeah. She's got, oh yeah, you're right. I moved a litter box into my closet. <laughs> so in my, in my room, we have two closets. We actually ended up moving all of the clothes out of the second closet and that's just Scout's closet. There it is. There's the accommodation. <laughs> Scout has her own litter box in there. Um, and we actually installed a dog, like a cat door into the door of the closet so she could go in anytime she wants because she spends a lot of time in my room alone because she doesn't, again, she's very picky. She doesn't really like the other cats jumping on her and stuff. So she, she gets my whole bedroom basically in her own box and yes sometimes she pees on the bed or on the couch (laughs) i actually ended up buying um a whole new mattress and then like a zipper pouch for the mattress just in case scout pees on it again (laughs) i love her and it's okay (laughs) i just don't want to sleep and be (laughs) and she's peeing because she's anxious Mm -hmm. exactly which is why we decided to just give her her own space and she hasn't done it since we gave her everything um separate because yeah she gets super anxious anything can set her off the baby sets her off a lot so we keep them separate too (laughs) he's just too much for her she's like you're overwhelming me (laughs) (laughs) you're loud (laughs) you're grabby (laughs) but everyone else likes the baby so that's fine yeah scout scout is our that's our princess in our house is is scooty she's very very, very spoiled. I'm just trying to picture you trying to get all these cats out of this room. <laughs> just <laughs> literally wrangling cats. It's a small bedroom and there's a queen bed in there. And of course they go under the bed. Yep. <laughs> Herding cats. And that's basically all that fits in there is the queen bed. Really? <laughs> a little desk. Heather's big bed. And, and 
all of her cat trees <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the bed and the side of the bed. It's a cat tree forest in there. Yeah, we want to, um, how do you accommodate you, you guys? How do you accommodate your cats? Um, we kind of want to read out how you guys are adjusting <laughs> your life or your lifestyle, your house, whatever, to your cat. Um, cause it, it, it's really cute to, to hear what people are doing for their cats. I think that, I, I just think cat people are just adorable. Like we, we love our cats so much and we'll do whatever to make sure they're happy. So yeah, tell us, tell us what you guys do. We want to read them out in the, and next time we do a podcast on this, we want to, we want to talk about what you guys are doing. What else? That's, all. That's it. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, so that was our podcast for today. If you like our podcast, make sure you come back next Monday. Yeah, we're, we're going to try some different formats. Um, you know, the podcast is relatively new. We're just getting started. So we want to try some new things out. Let us know what you think about it in the comments. We want to hear what you guys think. Um, yeah, come back next Monday. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And we will see you next Monday, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.